hi everyone welcome back to my channel in this video i'll be talking about how to send your image file uh, onto the server with the help of post api with dio package so uh, here is the demo in in this uh, what i will do i will select image from the gallery and i have also checked the permissions for that uh, i'm running this app uh, for the second time so it will not ask for the permissions uh, i will uninstall and install this again for you to show how it will ask for permissions just for uh, for now i'm just going to select image from the gallery and this is the image and i have selected there is the preview here and also uh, our image is submitted to the database if you will open the console it is showing image uploaded successfully and file uploaded is the response from the server if we will go inside this this is the print message image uploaded successfully and this is the response that i'm printing here which is file uploaded and if you will check the database i have created the node.js api here and inside this uploads you will see the particular image and i i will also start node.js series uh, for creating apis so please subscribe to my channel for further updates and if you will check the postman also here when your file is uploaded it will give you response like file uploaded so without any delay let's get started uh, so for that first of all for this you will have to install dio package image picker for choosing the image from gallery or camera and this permission handle ha, permission handler basically for handling the permissions and also you will have to apply permissions in android manifest like for camera permission and also write external storage permission for accessing your gallery and for ios you will have to add these two lines for using photo library and camera uh, here in this uh, project i am using cam uh, i am not using camera i am using gallery but if you are using camera then you will have to add these permissions so first of all this is my home screen and here i have taken x file uh, by the name of picked file and then i have created instance of this class where i am hitting the api so i am calling it here i am creating instance of this uh, class and this is the method upload image so i am calling here upload server uh, sorry upload service and inside this I uh, inside this build method first of all this is stateful widget and inside this build method this is normal app bar and inside center what I am doing here I am just checking the visibility if picked file is not equal to null it means there is data inside picked file then what it will do it will again check for the widget uh, it will uh, first of all it is checking for the visibility because when i'm not when there is no image selected then uh, this uh, space is uh, not taken by the image that is why i have used here visibility and for this widget uh, basically i am checking again picked file not equal to null if it is null if if it is not null then uh, what i will do i will show the image like image dot file and inside this i have taken like it will take what uh, it will take file so picked file dot path and i have changed x file into file because image dot file will take file it will not take x file that is why i'm converting in uh, converting it and i'm taking giving i'm giving here the height and width of 200 you can give according to your use and suppose if picked file is null then it will return uh, container and after that in this column after this i have used a little bit of space and then there is the button button what is uh, doing here it is just checking for the permission 
first of all it is checking for the permission uh, whether we have allowing the permission or not if we will not allow the permission uh, here I have uh, used permission handler package and these things are coming from that so for uh, here I'm asking for camera permission storage permission you can add plenty of things here and then you can also check individual permissions like here so if the permissions is not granted then it will return you can handle your error here like uh, for showing toast or showing uh, dialog boxes here uh, like you haven't given permission you will have to give permission you can add here and if the permission has given then it will come inside uh, come to this method picked image so what is this in, uh, method this method is written here so i have also created picked image for async type of and what it will do i'm creating picker which is which is coming from the image picker that the package that i have taken initially and what it will do it will picker will take picture image from the gallery as i have written here picker dot pick image and the source will be image source dot gallery if you want to take uh, uh, image from camera you can write here image source dot camera so inside after that uh, inside this picked file our image from the gallery will be saved and what next next it will called upload service dot upload method from where upload service is coming so initially i have created instance of this class where i am calling the api so it is calling upload services dot upload image and yes after selecting image from the gallery it will set state and what set state will do it will reload the screen that is why whenever i am selecting image from the gallery it is visible here so now upload services dot upload image it will it is uh, it has a parameter which uh, is taking a file so let me go inside this this is the upload image and what is the uh, parameters here it will accept it will ac accept x file kind of file so as uh, the image from the gallery is coming inside this picked file is also a x file kind of type uh, and that is why we are changing here inside this because image file doesn't accept x file data that is why i'm converting x file into file now let's come into this method it is also a sync type and basically we will have to uh, put this code inside track catch and i am creating here dio instance and then i'm checking if picked file not equal to null then what we will do we will uh, send uh, this image file in the form of form data so i'm writing here uh, create an instance of form data like form data dot form map and this is the parameters that i am using here if you will check here this is the parameter parameter and with the help of multi-part we send image file so we will use await here because it will take some time so multi-part dot form file then picked file dot path this is the picked file and we will send path and it will be saved with the name of this image dot jpg you can uh, use current date or whatever uh, you want you can use so finally response await dio dot post this is the post method so we will uh, use here dio dot post and this is my url you can replace your url here and in the data parameter we will put this form data and it will also take a little bit of time so after that that is why i have used here await and after that we will check response dot status code equal to equal to 200 it means that my image data is saved in the database and 
it will show you success message and if there would be any error then it will say that image not uploaded or something uh, happens with your internet then it will come inside catch and if suppose your api is uh, you have used a wrong api or anything uh, uh, wrong happens then it will come inside this catch so you can apply your conditions here so let me run this app from the beginning and i will put the code source file on github you can uh, check that from there and i will put the link in the description box you can also check that let me run this app from the scratch so that i can show you the full permission handling process and all those things for now in my database where I have created this Node.js API, there is only one file. Let me run this. You can skip this part because uh, I'm running this app from the scratch. So it will take some time. Uh, in the meanwhile, I just want to tell you also that uh, I am working on Node.js API. So in future, I will make video of Node.js with JavaScript. I will make uh, get post delete apis also and will start work with flutter so my app has run so let me tap on this okay it is not asking for permission so what i will have to do i will have to just uninstall this let me uninstall this let me run this once again and i just uh, want to request you to please support my channel that is why i could make uh, uh, enough video for you let me install it Now my app has installed and I'm going to press this button. Now it is asking for permission. I'm giving the permission. This is the image. Now what I will do, I will tap on this. I've selected this image. This is the preview and also you will see inside my database. there is one more image and this is the image so i hope that uh, you have understand how to send post uh, how to send image as uh, in post api so that's it for now i hope to see you next time in our next video bye for now